Anyway, since people seem to be marching for their causes these days, I have here a march for mine. It's called... Smut. Give me smut and nothing but. A dirty novel I can't shut if it's uncut and unsut. So, I've never quibbled if it was ribbled. I would devour where others merely nibbled. As the judge remarked the day that he acquitted my Aunt Hortense to be smut, it must be utterly without redeeming social importance. Or, no graphic pictures I adore. Indecent magazines galore. I like them more if they're hardcore. Bring on the obscene movies, murals, postcards, neckties, samplers, stained glass windows, tattoos, anything. More, more, I'm still not satisfied. Stories of tortures used by debauchers, lurid, licentious, and vile make me smile. Novels that pander to my taste for candor give me a pleasure sublime. Let's face it, I love slime. Old books can be indecent books. The recent books are bolder. For filth, I'm glad to say, is in the mind of the beholder. When correctly viewed, everything is lewd. I can tell you things about Peter Pan and the Wizard of Oz. There's a dirty old man. I I thrill to any book like Fanny Hill, and I suppose I always will, if it is swill and really fill me. Who needs a hobby like tennis or philately? I've got a hobby, rereading Lady Chatterley. But now they're trying to take it all away from us unless we take a stand and hand in hand we fight for freedom of the press. In other words, smut, I love it. Ah, the adventures of a slut. Oh, I'm a market they can't glut. I don't know what compares the smut. Hip, hip, hooray, let's hear for the Supreme Court. Don't let them take it away.